This looks awful. This looks disgusting. All right, tonight we're gonna to do a paint and sit. Uh, we're planning on doing a desert landscape that we're gonna to piece together. We've done a couple of these before, and it's a lot of fun. We're thinking like a, uh, a cactus. A snake. A little slithery rattlesnake. So it should be a good time. So we've covered the paint. Now it's time to cover the sip. Here we have a Savignon Blanc. It just says Savignon Blanc, not Blanc. I want to be... <gasps> no. Uh, they don't have a snake? Oh, is this a dinosaur? I want to be the dinosaur. So Susanna went with a little dinosaur, and I'm going to be a koala. <gasps> it's white! Yeah. I thought I was buying a red. That's what a Blanc is. Girl, be quiet! <laughs> Let's get started. Okay. So how do you paint? Well, first we have to sketch out what we're doing so that they match. Um, what if I put them both on the same canvas? Do it, you won't. That's crazy. Okay, so what are you thinking? Like a cactus, cactus in the middle and then like two little cactuses on the <laughs> I think we need to establish where the land is, right? That's I think that's one. way too low. No, this is the first land, right? With the dimension, then we're gonna have some mountains in the background. We'll have the cactus. Well, I think your dimensions are all whack. I think we need more sky. We need more land. So I would do the foregrounds here. But the land turns into the mountains. Where's the snake? Snake. There's too many lines. I don't know what's happening now. We need to know where the cactus goes. He's gonna go all the way to the top. We don't have to. Gonna give him eyebrows. Is the snake on the ground or is this? No, a snake wouldn't go on a cactus. I don't know what, oh, okay. We'll just say that that's good. Not that we're trying to make brown, but we're trying to make like a darker orange. Ooh. Mm. Well, we're gonna need a lot of paint to cover the ground anyways. So. This looks awful. This looks disgusting. It's not the standard I'm used to. Mine looks like dirt, so it's kind of close. I uh, studied art in kindergarten. Some skill. I like that color. It's literally the color that came out of the tube. Can I put a little flower on mine like he's blossoming? No. So I'm going to add some dark streaks to kind of emphasize the, the height and also give it little prickly boys. But I'll do some more in black too. He knows so much about dimension. Here's the issue with John going first is that I'm just kind of following what he does. Like I use the same color. Oh, it looks a little bit better now. Yeah, don't ever doubt me again. Uh, oh, you thought you thought my art was gonna be really bad? Never judge a book by its cover. So I'm just outlining the mountain. It looks like a volcano. I'm gonna add some darker colors in there in a little bit, but just it's all about shading. All about shading. Sure. And I am crazy behind. There's color on the table. This is our lizard, Lorenzo. He's got the sun to keep him warm because he's cold blooded. And he's got the little feet and a tongue, an uh, eyeball. I had a lot more art over there, but it got covered up. Oh, and then over here, this That's is Ariel from The Little Mermaid, but an abstract version that I drew on the table. The other, um, it's a little too dirty. Gotta add some color. Oh, it's the shadow yeah, of the Yeah, it's the shadow. I see. Of the cactus. My thing is just one giant plateau. There's no room. I'm almost... At the snake. I did a bad job. did a very bad job. Oh, I see what you tried to do. Make I it a little... This is why I do everything in pencil first. Your pencil. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, neon. <laughs> so, my snake's a little better? Question mark. Looks like he's being absorbed into the darkness. It's okay. Yeah, art is you know, artistic. I love art more than you. So I added some some scales to the snake to try to give it some dimension. Doesn't look that good, but we're giving it a shot. And Susanna's starting and to I draw added hers. a head. It's pretty snazzy. He's gone. I still think this looks like a little hat. This is where we're gonna get crazy because I have nail polish that I don't want for my fingers anymore. This is the inside of his mouth. Right? 
It smells like bubble gum. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I gave him the mention in his mouth. It's very good. With nail polish. Here we have a beautiful snake who just wants to live its best life. Here we have an idiot. Mine looks like a Renaissance painting, like of a tapestry of a dragon. Well, you put blue on your snake, so I feel like I need to put blue on my snake. Well, yeah, that's because mine's is bad. I wouldn't make yours bad. It's like a leopard print snake. I'm trying to be like scales. Just do like print like stashes. I shouldn't have been so ambitious. So I'm officially just not touching my painting anymore because everything I do makes it worse. Oh, honey. But yours is looking good. I think my, this looks like a watermelon. Did you know there's yellow watermelon? I think I'm done. It looks so good. Your I side is really cool. Look at those scales. She did what I was trying to do in a much better way. It kind of looks like a dragon. I think so too, but that means it's not a good snake. Now, the fun part is that we use all of our leftover paint to draw on the table so it doesn't go to waste. I don't know, like, I feel like we should do jack-o'-lantern or something because the colors we have are mostly orange and green and a lot of brown. Maybe a bird? We have some white. Should we do a bird? Let's just start drawing and then we'll see what happens. Let's make a witch. This is her head. Oh, and that's her I like hat. That. She's wearing a gross brown frock. Is she just standing on the broom? Oh, she's sitting on it. Should we expose some ankle? Is oh, she scandalous? She's scandalous. We should give her stilettos. It's her pumpkin friend. Oh, yes. Is his name Jack O'Lantern? It's actually Jack. Jeff O'Lantern. <laughs> oh, cute. Oh, my. Oh, I see. It's the wind. Oh, the wind Girl, yeah. We haven't used any yellow. I was going to make her hair yellow, and then I thought, no. Here we go. That's spooky. spooky. I, it's not, I'm not gonna wanna come down here by myself anymore. <laughs> oh, well now she doesn't look scary anymore. <laughs> she looks like a frog. It's a frog witch. That looks weird. It doesn't even look like a mouth. <laughs> she got little potato hands. Vertical potato hands. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Can I go with her for Halloween? Cause she's cute. These are her striped stockings. She's coordinating with her boyfriend, Jeff. That's her boyfriend now? I thought it was her little accessory. Now it's her boyfriend? Oh, I love it. She's so cute. She's got candy corn stockings. <gasps> yes! And blue shoes, because why not? Look at those clogs. I really, really like her, and I like her fashion aesthetic. The other one's not as good. John is not as good. He only has one tooth, but she loves him anyway. Well, that was quite the adventure. Susanna, what did you learn tonight? I learned that you're better at painting landscapes than I thought, but you're worse at painting animals than I thought. Thanks for watching.